Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to be using a plugin. It's a free plugin, there is a premium version as well. And the plugin is called Video Pop-Up. And what you can do with it is you can add text to a little block like this, click on it, and it'll add up, add a little pop-up video breakout box just like that which is pretty cool I mean Divi's got some great features built in and some video modules but this will let you pop it out to a little light box which is pretty cool obviously I'm using the Divi theme here and if you're building any sort of WordPress site at all i do suggest you take a look at divi because it's just awesome it keeps getting better and better and better and adding more and more features and keeps getting easier and easier to use uh, if you want to try it out you can do so from an affiliate link just below this video the pop-up we're using today the video pop-up will work with any theme as far as i can tell i just happen to be using divi today because i love it Okay, so let's build these sections here. Like I say, we've got a text section that you can click on and it'll open a light box with a video. And we've also got an image. So first thing you want to do is you want to actually install the plugin. I've got mine installed already. But if you go to your plugins and hit add new. And just type in video pop up. it'll appear and it's this one with a little orange circle and the screen in the middle there by Allo Biardi. And like I say, it's free. You, you can download it or install now. It'll say up there if you've not got it installed and activate it. It's pretty lightweight. Once you've got it installed, it'll appear down here on your dashboard. Check out the general settings. Only things you're really going to want to look at for this video today are the short code usage, which is what we're going to be using today, which will show you this page and give you some of the short codes you can use. Most of these are available totally free. And then you get down to a few down at the bottom here, which is kind of nice, but they're for the premium extension only for the paid version. But what everything we're going to do today is going to be with the free version. So let's get started. So let's go back to our page. I'm going to just delete this section here. Or at least delete the modules within the, in this section. So I'm going to enable the visual builder. Like I said before, Divi's visual builder makes things so easy. Now let's just delete these two blocks here. That's that one. And that's that one. Okay. So if we look at our short code page for the video pop up here, I'm just going to copy this little short code at the top. And once I put it in, I'll explain what it all does. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, easy to follow. Control C to copy. Now, if we go back to our page, we can either do this with a regular text block. Or I'm going to use a regular text block or you can put a code block in. Divi by default comes with all these blocks, the, the light gray blocks. The colored ones are from third party plugins that I've got installed here. But the gray blocks are all Divi and there's plenty of them. So like I say, you can either use a text block, which I'm going to use, or a data block. Doesn't make much difference. And I don't think it matters, but I'm going to be on the text tab here, which is usually where I put in code or short codes. But I think you can use both for this particular one. And if we paste it in, take a look at it, we've got video pop up URL equals then some inverted commas inside there. That's where you want to put the URL of your YouTube video, obviously. So I'll grab a YouTube, one of my YouTube video URLs over here. Copy it, control C, and simply paste it in here. And 
Next, you're going to see text equals an in inverted commas. And whatever you want to put in there, make sure you put it in between the two inverted commas. Same with that YouTube URL that right there. So I'll just grab the title of the video. And paste that in there too. Now that's going to appear as text, as you can see down here. And to change the actual text, I'm just going to go into the design tab and it's regular text. It's not heading text. It's just regular. I'm going to bring the size up just a little bit. If you want to, you can bring the line height up or you can do anything you want with it. That's fine. Let's just save that and exit our visual builder now you may ask why is it blue and that would be a good question the reason that it's blue is it's because it's an anchor it's a link basically and to change that color let's get out of a visual builder here let's just check that it's going to work i'm sure it will there we go there's my video there's the little pop-up Fantastic. Okay, and like I was saying, to change the actual color of the text, you can't really do it within the module itself. It's your theme customizer, which if you go to the dashboard, is under Divi theme customizer. I've already got it up here. And to change the color of that actual text, you want to go to the typography. If I start at the beginning right here, Typography, or is it actually general settings? Typography, and it's the body link color. I'll just change it just to demonstrate. Let's just make it purple and publish. Go back to our page. If I refresh now, that should change to that purple color that we put in there. Of course, you could do it with some CSS and just target that block itself. That would work also. So there you go. We know that works. Fantastic. Now, let's do the same thing with an image. So an image links to it. So you could use your YouTube thumbnail if you wanted to. Uh, but I'm just going to use any old regular image that I've got going on here. So I'm actually going to copy this block. So we'll enable the visual builder again. And like I say, I'm going to copy this block. Two little squares there, or two little oblongs there. There it is copied. I just need to drag it across. Doesn't matter which one you drag, because they're both the same. Hit the little cog to edit it. And this time, we're going to use an image. So I'm going to leave that all the same. We're going to use the same video. Obviously, you probably want to put a different video in. But if you look at the short codes here, we go down, got one here that says IMG equals to semi to inverted commas. And then you just have to enter the image URL to display it as a thumbnail. So that's all we're going to do. We're going to get rid of the text. We're not going to have any text this time. We're just going to use an image. So let's go back to the page. We're inside that block here. Where it says text there, I'm just going to select that and delete it, leaving that square bracket on the end. Make sure you leave the square bracket on the end. And I'm going to write image IMG, it's their short code. You could have copied it over if you wanted to, equals two lots of inverted commas. Now, what we want to do is get the URL of it or decide what image we want and use the URL. So I've got my media library over here. Of course, you can upload a new image if you want to just close that one out that's one i just used let's use a different one for fun let's save this one all you do is click on it in your media library and here's your url up here so if i double click on that until it highlights Control c to copy go back to our module 
and just pop it inside those two inverted commas there. And there it is. You actually don't need that first bit. You can just go to WP content onwards, but I'm going to put the full URL in there anyway. Okay, and that's all there is to it. We now should have an image that links to our little YouTube URL. So let's hit the save button. There it is. Let's hit the save again. And exit our visual builder. Now we've got a check mark. Scroll down and check out if that's going to work, and I'm sure it is. So now when I click on this, there's our video. So that's a great little option. Like I say, by default, Divi's got a, a nice little video module that you can use. That'll play it in the actual module itself, or it gives you an option to open it in YouTube. But this way, it's quite nice because it, it just lets you show it in a little pop-up light box. So there you have it. There's a little option for you. It's called Video Pop-Up. It's a free plugin. Like I say, there are some premium options, but you can do a lot with the free stuff. So check it out. It's a nice little feature. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe to our youtube channel if you're interested in web development take a look down below we've got some great free courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our youtube subscribers so do check it out once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day